Here's a really quick video on how to save your kale if you can't keep up like me. I'm just going to snap off a couple of these big kale leaves out of my tower. Let's take this one. I don't even cut it. I just snap it. Let's grab one more. I think that's enough. Eh, let's take one more. That leaves plenty still in the tower. Let's take this basket of kale inside. I'm just going to strip the leaves off of the kale stem. It's obviously way too large to eat. That'll go back in the compost. And I'm going to peel off the rib of the top of the leaf too. This is dwarf Siberian kale. And I'm just going to break it up into smaller chunks out of my hand. Most of it's small anyway, the way it came off the stem. And I'm going to blanch this in boiling water for about a minute because I'm going to freeze it. And I'll show you what I got to freeze it in. an impulse buy at the big box store. One more leaf. It's turning bright, bright green. Blanching it first before freezing it kills off any enzymes that will cause it to degrade while frozen. Okay, that's enough. I've got a bowl of ice water here. That I'm gonna quickly cool this off in. Last year I grew purple, I think it was called purple lacinato or dinosaur kale. And I still have some seeds for that, but I thought that that, even though it was pretty with the purple stems, I thought it was pretty bitter, even as far as kale goes. I'm not a super big kale fan, but I decided to try this variety and I'm kind of liking it. Putting it in soups and other cooked meals. So we're going to let this cool off in here briefly. I did not even wash it. Just went straight into the pot. I use organic gardening gardening. I don't spray anything anymore. Don't use any chemicals, so if there are bugs on it, they will have boiled off and now they're freezing. And they'll probably float to the top if there's any in there, but I didn't see any. Now, this is the cool little impulse buy I got at Wally World. And it's, you could use it for ice cubes, but I'm going to use it for freezing spinach and other vegetables. So I'm going to take out just what should be approximately a cube size bundle and squeeze out the excess water. Actually, that was too small, wasn't it? If I see any bigger leaves, I'm going to tear those up even to smaller pieces. And we're going to fill up as many of these cubes as we can. 
with this and freeze them so they'll be solid blocks. And then when we want to use them for soups or any recipes that we're cooking them in, all we have to do is take out one of these squares. And they're already blanched and ready to go. But there's no way, for me anyway, I could keep up. I only got three cubes. I should go pick those other leaves, but it, there wasn't that many. I can't use that much kale all at once and keep on top of how fast it grows. So this is a great option to be able to preserve some for the winter time. So I'm going to freeze these just like they are. And then I'm going to say that that was what? I've got four ribs here, so there was probably before I smashed them, blanched them and smashed them, uh, loose leaves. Those That was probably, oh, a good two cups per leaf. So I've got six cups of kale here, I'm guessing. So I'm going to freeze these blocks just like they are, and then I will uh, put them in a freezer bag once I get these blocks out of the freezer to be able to store long term. These blanched and frozen kale cubes will be good for soups, stews, instant pot meals, stir fries, uh, maybe even smoothies, whatever you can imagine.